Welcome to another video of Bite Size Electronics when we learn how to generate timer update interrupts. This interrupt allows us to run some code periodically. So let's open IUC file. Then we go to timers. I will use timer 2 to generate timer update interrupts. So as I call clock source, I choose the internal clock. And as you see, I have 80 megahertz system clock. Uh, it means that if I set this value, I'll get 10 kilohertz uh, clock frequency because 80 million divided by this value plus one equals 10,000. Then as a auto reload value, I will set this value. It means that I will have a timer update interrupt that up operates at one hertz. Then I go to NVIC settings then I will enable global interrupts. Then I save the file. Then we need to open the initialization function for timer2. And between these comments, I'm going to insert these two lines. So we start the timer and the interrupts. Next step, we have to define some callback function to be specific this function. And within this function, I'm going to write this if statement just to check that this is our timer, timer two. Then I'm going to send some data through UART communication within this function. It means that every one second, we will send some data through UART. Next up, we have to define this uh, buffer because this variable is right now a uh, local variable to this to the main.c. And we don't need these two lines anymore. So if we run, so if I resume, as you see, every one second I'm getting this um, message through, through UART. And as you might notice, there's no any data sending within the while loop. Everything happens through this callback function. So this callback function uh, gets called every one second, and and that's why I'm I'm getting this message every one second through Serial Reader software. Please check my website to get more detailed information about timers, and I would highly appreciate if you subscribe. There would be more insightful information about programming STM32 microcontrollers.